<laughs> Hi, everybody. Think virtual live today. Um, we're a couple minutes late, so we apologize, but we are here and ready to talk yeah. about all of the tech that we use for our virtual teams yeah. and what makes our businesses run. So, John, how are you today? I'm good, Jamie. How are you? Sorry, I'm I was a bit late. I was uh, finishing up with a client, but uh, good to see you. And I think what we're going to talk about today is, is is pretty quintessential to to run your business. You know, there are um, you know we we all have one thousand four hundred and forty minutes in a day, and it's and to be effective and efficient is critical. You like that stat? Every, I didn't know that stat. I mean, I've never done the math. There you go. Every every we all want to be as effective and efficient as possible. Working from home, kid. You know, my kids, your kids are at the dining room table and upstairs mm -hmm. doing homework. And so we need tools to streamline ourselves. We need tools to make our time efficient. So I think this is going to be a great, um, a great live. Exactly. And so all the the um, the tech that I call the tech, the software, how whatever you want to call it, that I come with today. And I know John, you're kind of bringing your own best systems and and yeah. and what you use. But all the tech, really, you know, first and foremost, whatever you use, if you are a whiz at tech or not, it should be easy to use, super intuitive, and it should save you time and effort. So there's so much out there right now. And I feel like every day I get new emails from people, yeah. especially on LinkedIn, about new products that they're using and ways in which to, um, you know, kind of upgrade what I'm currently using. I'm, I'm happy with what I use now, but I'm always on the hunt for something that's going to be even better. So, you know, and things are coming at us so rapidly that, you know, what I'm using today and what you're using today could be totally obsolete by six months from now. And that's yeah. how fast the market, how fast it moves. Yeah. And so, I think, I think before we jump in, I think, yeah. um, you know, regardless of what generation is listening right now or in the future, I think one of the key things is to kind of look and see where you're, you're stuck in your day, like where mm -hmm. you're not using technology. Um, you know, I know a lot of people who still write out their to-do list on a legal pad and are spending a lot of time doing that. Um, or, you know, aren't using a calendar or aren't using a CRM. So, you know, don't be scared of technology. You've got to jump in, especially today and, and do it. So why don't you get us started? Okay. So um, I thought that I would start with just, I mean, this is going to sound like duh to everybody, but I think that companies um, are so used to working on servers that they've forgotten that now there's so many um, different ways in which we can share our files um, on in the cloud. So the first one is just G Suite, our Google Suite. It's it's as simple as it gets. I mean, there are so many other programs out there that do this for you, but let's just start with a simple basic one that I think almost everybody can use. And if you are um, right now working from a server in your office and now all your all your um, team is virtual, you know, just having a collaborative software like G Suite where you have documents that everybody can get in and and manipulate and it saves automatically. Um, sheets, Google Sheets that, that, you know, obviously you can manipulate as a team, make comments, um, edit for people, that sort of thing. That is just the most basic but needed um you know, resource, I think that, that I use on a daily basis. I share it with my clients. I allow them in to, to look at, I can have them edit or just view it. Do you use that G Suite? What do you use? You know, I, I use, I'll tell you what I use Google um, for. I wrote my book on, um, uh, on Google. So because I could share it with my, um, uh, my co-author. And so mm -hmm. I would write and then we could write together and then he could edit my stuff. Um, I'm writing another book with my buddy Fish, who I do my seven minute podcast with, and we do it on Google Docs so we can see what each other is writing, edit each other's stuff. I mean, it's really, really convenient. And uh, with a, a lot of clients that need to share information uh, easily and readily with multiple people, it's a great, it's a great, great platform. Because you can be on it all at the same time on a conference call uh, or a Zoom call and all be changing at the same time, where Dropbox, if you can only one person at a time can really be in a document, which I think is great. I, I use Dropbox, but um, no, G Suites are G Suite is uh, they're great tools and they're free. And I and I and I love free stuff. Yeah. Yes, and pretty uh, much everything that I'm going to talk about today is mostly free or for a nominal price. It's really yeah. not going to break the bank here. So that's kind of first and foremost. It's kind of the all-encompassing one. Um, 
All right, so I got one. I go, got one. Go for it. You go right, for it. So, um, to doist, T O D O I S. That was one of mine. <laughs> you got that for me. So, yeah. Um, so, it's really mine. <laughs> uh, so, to doist is a great one. So, I got it from my buddy Jim Nazinski, who is a wealth manager. And uh, he uses it like I've never seen any, but you know, he knows how to use it really, really well. But um, to doist is great. I'm a big fan of one calendar, one to do list. Um, and to do is great because you can assign, you can have different teams and assign different to do's within that team. And, um, it's great. I think it's like 20 something dollars a year. I mean, it's, it's very nominal price and, and well worth it. Yeah. yeah, I actually used to do this too. And what I love about it so much is it's a checklist, but you can set yourself a reminder. Yeah. And so it pings you in a week, a week from now. I don't have to think about it. I write it down in the middle yeah. of the night. It's, there's an app on your phone. So you can just like kind of quickly, you know, talk it into your, your to do this app and it'll ping you back. So, um, you yeah, can, I use that also, too. You can also forward an email with an attachment to your to do, to do this and, mm -hmm. and it tracks it. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Yeah. On that same vein, I have one called Trello, which is a little bit different in the sense of, and it's T-R-E-L-L-O. Um, it's It uses boards to organize your to-dos. So I actually, my husband, I, I kind of got him on this for all of his clients. And he has now said that this has kind of changed how he works. And so he has, every client has a different board and all of the follow-up, all of the discussion, he puts it all in there. And, um, he can easily manipulate through it and then also set himself reminders. Um, I think it does a lot of what Todoist does, but just a different format for those people that are looking for, a, I don't know if it's more comprehensive or less. I'm not really sure. I think Todoist is super easy to use. Trello, I feel like is a little bit, you know, you have to kind of sit with it for a second, but it has been super helpful um, for my husband, I'm sure many, many people, and and you know, I don't use it on a daily basis, but I've heard great things about it. So that's Trello. Yeah. Um, I okay. So I think my next one is Rev.com. Rev.com is R E V um, R E V uh, dot com. And so what I use Rev.com for is I record for my clients a lot of uh, conference calls that we have. I um, use it to uh, dictate certain things. Um, so for example, if I'm working with an editor, so I work with an editor on my blogs because behind every great writer is a better editor. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> so when they have stuff, so I will dictate things on rev.com and then send it to uh, my editor um, or you know whomever. Um, if I if I have a podcast that I want to transcribe or if I want to write something out, but I don't want to type it, I'll, I'll, I'll dictate it and then I'll send it to rev.com for $1.25 a minute and it types out the entire transcript. And That's it's fantastic. In under 24 hours. And so even if there's like a, a, a seminar, a TED Talk, um, a podcast that I like, I'll actually send the link to rev.com because I want the transcript. And so it's like a mini book. So I can not only listen, but I can also read it. Web.com is a game changer. And you, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I'm done. So let me ask you a question. So if I wanted to write a blog, but I didn't feel like typing it all out, it's all yeah. in my head, I can, you know, record it, send it into Web.com. They'll give me the transcript, and then I can go in and edit it right. later and just post right. it. I do it, all, I do it. I do it all the time, and it is. Um, it's called. It's called. Uh, you can do the call recorder and the recorder. Rev. It's an app. And um, I don't even know how much it is. If, if it is, it's, it's not it's not much at all. But okay. it's, a, it's a game changer. It's great. That's great. Okay. Yeah. Love it. Um, so my absolute favorite thing is Loom. So Loom is basically a... Loom lover. I have recommended Loom to tons of people since you referred it to me. So at first I told him about it. He's like, well, this Loom thing. And then I feel like you get the Loom wave and you're just you're like, like on it. Loom. Right. You're Loomed in. <laughs> Right. And so basically I use Loom for pretty much everything. I, when I want to post something on social, but I want to um, have my video, it's kind of like puts a nice little video picture of you on the corner. And then you can kind of work within your screen with the video and talk it through. Um, it's a way that not only can I post things to social that I want to explain to my audience, I send proposals and go through proposals for clients through Loom. I, um, 
I you can send messages to people. I mean, it is quick, easy. Um, I also think it is free. I could be wrong, but I think I think you can pay for a free version, and then there's a paid version. Yeah, and this to me has been a game changer. It kind of can set your you apart from um, other people by just having your voice in the room when you're not really there. You have been looming, <laughs> looming. I'm a, a loomer. I'm um, for sure a loomer. <laughs> yeah, you should get some T-shirts made. You know, I, totally. All right, but I want to say something about loom. What I really like, you know, in a day and age where everybody is, um, you know, uh, zooming and sharing documents and sharing screens and, um, you know, and just sending documents left and right, you know, we're not meeting with as many people today, and so creating, in, enhancing the emotional connection with putting yourself in a corner walking somebody through a proposal, walking somebody through something so they understand it is, I think is, is, is quintessential, especially in today's market. We're all running too fast right now because we're, you know, having so many different things and homeschooling and this and everybody's kind of home. You got to kind of take the extra minute and walk somebody through something mm -hmm. and so your clients will appreciate a one minute or two minute video of you walking them through something versus them having to spend 10, 15, 20 minutes to comprehend it. So I, I think that's really important. And it stops that back and forth email questions. Like I've yeah. answered, I'm hopefully anticipating people's questions, yeah. answering them in the in the video, and so it can it can stop it can save time in the long yeah. run, which is great. So I got one. It's uh, pipedrive.com. I think mm -hmm. it is. Um, it's a very economical way for people to customize and create their own pipeline. Uh, and it's um, you know a lot of times I find many people that I coach are just kind of keep things in their head or keep things on a scratch paper. Um, don't really even use Excel to kind of manage their pipeline. And to me, you need to be managing your pipeline, you know, all day long and for sure every morning and every night, updating it, reviewing it, et cetera, and, and, and working a live pipeline. And so PipeDrive allows you to really customize um, exactly kind of as you walk through your own continuum and put in your own words. It's a great app. Perfect. Yeah. Love it. I've never heard of it. So I will check it out after this. Yeah, check sure. it out. You'll, you'll like it. Um, my next one is called Toggle, T-O-G-G-L. And so in my business, I have clients, I have to track my time. I want to track my time for them and um, make sure that, you know, what my billable time is versus my non-billable time. And so Toggle is such an easy way to track your time. It kind of just sits on your um, computer. You can click in and add clients, projects. And you can just track your time that way. And then at the end of the month, because um, I bill out monthly, I will pull a report and, um, you know, and, and use it for that. So it's it's great. It's really eye opening. And then let's say you're not. It's not about billable hours. What if you just wanted to figure out how productive are you being during the day? Yeah. How much time are you wasting during the day? Like that's always a really good exercise is, you know, tracking your time. And it's really like a click of a button. So and how do you spell it? T-O-G-G-L. P O G G L. Mm hmm. Toggle. All right, Toggle. And I've never used Toggle, but it sounds like a great. I one. love it. Super easy. It's how I track all of my time. Yeah. I got one that a lot of people have not heard of. It's kind of an older app. It's um, it's called Voxer. Um, Voxer. Voxer. V O X um, E R. It's kind of like a, a walkie-talkie. So I use it with my virtual assistants, where instead of having to go back and forth via email or back and forth via this. It's kind of like a walkie talkie. You press a button and I leave them a message. So it'd be like, hey, such and such, da 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 da. They'll voxer me back. And it's kind of like walkie talkie ish. But it's a great way to communicate, cuts down on too many emails, too many texts, too many, you know, it's just, no, I don't need to call them. They don't need to call me. There's no voicemails. It's just, it's cut and dry. So Voxer, I think, is a, is a great app. It's, it's older. A lot of people don't use it or haven't heard of it, but it's really effective. And it's V, V as in? V as in Victor, O-X-E-R, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Oh, I've never heard of that. Okay, great. Um, let the other one, so everything is done, you know, we have a lot of documents we need signed. So my proposals, my contracts, I'm sure that you use, um, you know, different e-signature documents throughout your company. And if, and if, you know, you specifically don't, a lot of other people do. And so we've heard about ones like Write Signature and um, DocuSign. And those are kind of like bigger, um, working for big companies. And I use something called PandaDoc. And it is so easy to use. I can um, get my, um, my, my contracts 
customize them so that they look like they're coming from me. I can, you know, put, uh, you basically upload a doc, a Word doc of your proposal or a PDF and then insert like where you want the, your, somebody to sign, where you're going to sign, what you're going to date, and you can assign people to all this and then you email it out. And I believe it's free. Um, I think there's a free version. It's Panda Doc. Really great resource for e-signatures. Um, that's great, great. And so I, um, um, I wanted to kind of make note because I don't think people know this either. You know, in your notes, if you have an iPhone, your notes app, you can actually use as a scanner. And so when you go to your notes app, if you open up a notes um, and you and you and you click on the camera. It says choose photo or video, take photo or video, or scan documents. And so, and, and it's it's already on your phone, and you can use it as a complete scanner. But most people don't know. Um, and so that's that's a great one. And then, um, uh, yeah. So that's your turn. Well, that's interesting because I didn't know that, and I use a great one called Cam Scanner, um, and or Cam Scan, and it's an app on your phone, and you can take pictures, and it kind of makes it really pretty. And so, yeah, I guess both of those are great ones. I yeah. do not know about that. Right. Um, so my, my, I'm always a big proponent. And I do this on my Tech Tip Tuesdays on, on um, social, but I'm a big fan of Trainual. And yeah. Trainual is a, um, a more comprehensive system, but basically what it is is a, a cloud-based software that you can document your um, – processes, standard operating procedures, and any systems that you have. And you can package it and house it in one location. And then you can push learning out to different employees. Um, you can have a whole onboarding system for new employees in there based on all the documentation that you kind of put into this thing. And then also, you can do trainings and have quizzes and tests at the end that are scored. So you can see people kind of work through learning for your company. And I personally think it's a game changer for any company that now needs to figure out a way in which to house all their documents in one place so that everybody can get it, but also um, be able to push learning out and then be able to see it on an admin dashboard. Yeah, I love that. That's a great one. Um, and I think it's really important. Everybody, you know, we're in an e-commerce world. This decade is going to, we're going to see e-commerce evolve uh, like we've never seen it evolve and digitizing everything and training your people you know, millennials are going to occupy 75% of the global workforce by 2025. Uh, that doesn't include Gen Zs. They learn via video. They want a train you will type of thing. Every company in the world needs to be documenting systems, processes, training manuals, not only for today, but to get ready for the next five years and for sure the next decade. Um, you know, I use an iPad um, for notes um, mm. and um, I use good notes to take notes, which is to me the greatest. Um, other people use Evernote, but I think GoodNotes um, is is just is great, um, and it's great on an iPad. But you use an iPad with a stylus, so yours is a bit. Is that a different? Correct. Correct. I use um, I use a, a yeah 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 with a yeah, so I can take notes. It's yeah, a, I guess I've never iPad. used my iPad yeah. with a stylus, so yeah. Um, yeah, you're basically have it all there and yeah. saved for you, which is awesome. All right, Jamie, what's what what's one of your last? Uh, well, the last is like, of course, everybody needs it. But I use, um, so if you're in a company that obviously has an in-house bookkeeper and that sort of thing, and you're lucky to have that, that's awesome. Um, but if you're self-employed and, and working with a virtual team kind of randomly out there, um, I use QuickBooks self-employed. I am not a huge numbers person. So for me, it's like super easy, efficient. I can get my invoices out. I can track all my expenses, my profit and loss, my taxes. And so, and I, if I can do it, anybody can do it. So QuickBooks, obviously there's many, many versions. I use the self light version. So yeah. um, just to make sure I'm, I'm getting my accounting software in there. Good. And my last um, apps will be um, not so much like we're on kind of a page now, a little bit of a different lane, um, your podcast app and your Audible app. There's nothing better to me than learning, you know, listening to a book on tape or more importantly, listening to a real time podcast and just, you know, I think, you know, knowledge is power. And right now, learning from experts in real time is is absolutely key. And and, and I would say that in, in closing and I'll let you close out, Jamie, but in closing, you know, everybody has got to look at their business on a day to day basis, not only for themselves, your CEO. You're a manager, a leadership team, you're a salesperson, 
and you want to figure out how can I be more effective. If I can save four minutes a day, that's 24 hours in a year, right? Keep on multiplying that and compound what you can do over the course of a year if you just have a little bit more time. And I think right now we all need more time so we can, you know, I think we've all been reminded that we want more family time. We want more family dinners. We want more of that. So create, find the apps and create the space for yourself to be more efficient and effective. And I know people can reach out to you. They can always reach out to me if they have any questions mm -hmm. about apps that will help them, you know, streamline and grow their business. Um, so, yeah, so I'll, I'll let you close it out. I want to thank everybody. Thank you. It's always fun. I'll let you close it out, Jamie. Thank you. My last thought is um, just don't be afraid of, of changing it up. Like, I think we get really oh. stuck in what we're currently using, but things are developing and happening so quickly in the app and um, software space that there's really new, wonderful tech out there for you to use and just being open to it. Or if you're not really the person to be open to it, find somebody who is and, and be open minded. Um, and it can really change change how you're doing business so um thanks so much and uh, i love being on with you john yeah, and we'll see you in a couple weeks yeah we'll do this again in two weeks thanks everybody jamie always fun thanks those were great tips and um yeah all right